glory. We give God the honor. This is another day our Lord has given to us. Let us rejoice and be glad. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you for another day like this. It is by your might, it is by your power, and it is by your glory that we are alive. Unto thee, O Lord, you alone is worthy. Father, we thank you for a moment like this. As you have given a breath of life to us, we magnify the name. I pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit of the living God, this is a vessel you can use. Speak through me. I am empty clay. So this is the moment that you can use to glorify yourself. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I pray with thanksgiving, amen. Beloved, I welcome each and every one, the listeners of Pillar of Christ that listen to Prophet Ebenezer Kenewu every day. May you all be blessed in Jesus' name, amen. Beloved, this is another day that God Almighty has given to us. And without wasting time, let us turn our Bible to John 6. And the title of the message is Believe in God. Believe in God. And I read Matthew 6. And the verse is 26 up to 29. This is by our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus answered them and said, most assuredly, I say to you, you seek me, not because of you saw the sign, but because you ate of the loaf and were filled. 27, do not, labor for the food which perish, but for the food which endure for everlasting life, which is the son of man will give you because God the Father has set his seal on him. 28, Jesus answered and said, 28, then he said to him, what shall we do that we may work the works of God? And 29, Jesus answered and said to them, this is the work of God that you believe in him whom, his, whom he sent, amen and amen. This is our Lord Jesus Christ telling us this morning. So we go, we start with verse 26, Matthew 6, 26, one and one. Most assuredly, I say to you, seek me. God is telling us to seek him because without God, there is nothing that we can do. He is the omnipotent. That's why he says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness and all things shall be added. He is assuring us to seek him. The more we know him, the more we become closer to him because he know our beginning and the end. So he was telling them, seek me, not because of what you saw, the sign, but what you ate, that labor for food. He is telling us regular food, a perish. After we eat, we all know it comes out. But everlasting life, which is the word of God, the word of God never fades. The word of God is genuine. The word of God 
is the truth. The word of God is a gift of the Holy Spirit. That is faith and is one of them. When the spirit of God wakes up in the morning, do we thank him? Do we praise him? It isn't by our own might. It is by the spirit of God. The everlasting life is God's word. That man must seek first after waking up. God is so good. And the Holy Spirit, which is our teacher, he wakes us up. When we go to our bed, we don't know actually time we fall asleep, but it is by the Holy Spirit. As like I said, in Matthew 6, 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness to you. And all things shall be added unto you. This is the word of God. Jesus Christ, let us know everlasting life. And no one can give us everlasting life. He alone is a savior. He alone is a king. He alone is our master. We give him all the praise. I will exhort him with a song. Die kai now ye kwan chure fo nyamie. O nyamie. Die kai na chure ye kwan. O die kai. Now ye kwan chure fo nyamie. O bo die. Die kai na chure ye kwan. Alleluia. Wasem. Wasem no. Wasem. O nyamie. Wasem. No ye. En kwan. En kwan o. Wasem. Wasem no. Wasem. Obadi e wasem no ye wuja odi e kai na ye kwan chire fo nyami o nyami e di e kai na chire ye kwan alleluia wasem wasem no wasem. Oji fue wase no ye oja oja from a o wasem onyami e wasem obadi e wasem no ye oja hallelujah we continue verse twenty eight. Then they said to him, what shall we do that we may work the work of God? Beloved, here it is individual. What shall we do to do the work of God? It is individual affair. You and I know is to serve our God, the one who created heaven and earth. You and I should love the Lord with our hearts, our soul, our mind, and our strength. We should love our neighbor as ourselves. We should bear fruit worthy of repentance. We have to repent from our sins. We should do good unto our enemies and hoping nothing in return and that our reward will be great and we will be the sons of the Most High. Hallelujah. Let us see something in Luke 6, 36. It says, therefore be merciful just as your father also is merciful by our Lord Jesus Christ. Beloved, we should be merciful to one another. 
Jesus Christ, our Savior, is telling us, without God, without Christ, there is nothing that we can do. Without Christ, we cannot make it in this life. Hallelujah. Let us believe in God. It is the faith. And this faith is a gift from the Holy Spirit, one of his gifts. And as we can see, 1 Corinthians 12 and the verse is 9. Faith is a gift. So when we accept Christ as our personal savior, the Holy Spirit will help us to love him. And we have to believe the truth. And the truth is the word of God. Hallelujah. My God is good. 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 He is good to me. Mi nya mi ye, mi nya mi ye, mi nya mi ye, mi nya mi ye, mi nya mi ye. Oh ye, mami. Indeed, our God is good. Our God, the word of God is genuine. The word of God is true. It never changes. It was yesterday, today, and tomorrow. The supreme being, the alpha and the omega, the first and the last. Oh, what a mighty God. And also the author of life. So this morning, he is telling us, just believe the word of God. It never changed. Jesus says something in Matthew 10 and the verse is 28. Shall we read Matthew 10 and the verse is 28? Beloved, let's hear the word of God. Hallelujah. And do not fear those who will kill the body, but not kill the soul, but rather fear him who is able to destroy both the soul and the body in a hell. Oh, this is a warning to us. We shouldn't fear the enemy if we have a good relationship with our God. But rather we should fear God Almighty, the one who created you and I, the one who created the soul and the body. So we shouldn't be afraid of the enemy if we have a good relationship as the children of the Most High God. When we believe in him, when we honor him, he said, if you love me, obey my commandment. So beloved, our Lord is telling us this morning, we serve a mighty God. This is a very deep for mankind. We have to repent from our ways, our doing. We know the good and the bad, but still we do wrong. We sin every day. So beloved, we must repent. Repentance we all need is changing our mind and our thoughts not to do evil. Oh, what a mighty God. He is warning us. We can change our mind. And the mind of God is faithfulness and just. Beloved, there is no more time on our side. This is end time. Christ can come anytime. And are we prepared to meet him? Are we prepared to go with him? Time is short. We have to change. We have to change and do the right thing. Sooner and sooner, he will appear. Beloved, let us see something on Luke 10 
and Luke 15, rather, and the verse is 10, by our Lord Jesus Christ. Likewise, I say to you, there is a joy in the presence of the angel of God over one sinner who repents. This is by our Lord Jesus Christ. If one sinner repents, heaven rejoice. Look at millions of angels, they rejoice. So beloved, sin separate us. We should run away from sin. Sin will destroy us. Jesus is telling us we should repent. We know the good and the bad. So why should we eat sin, carry sin on our daily basis? Beloved, we have to yield to the Holy Spirit, our teacher, our friend, our comforter and protector. He will help us to run away from sin. And this, our body, will be, be present as a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable to God. And God will have mercy on us through his son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, glory be to our God. Glory be to our King, the Most High God, the God who created you and I, the Lord Almighty, the one who knows our tomorrow. Beloved, we should yield to the Holy Spirit. He is a great teacher. He will teach us everything. As our Lord was going, he said, I won't leave you orphanage. I will send the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is in us. He doesn't dwell in sin. So we should run away and set this body as a living sacrifice for our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We give him all his glory and honor. May his holy name be exalted and praised in Jesus' name. Jehovah Jireh, this morning, I take this opportunity to bless the end time prophet, the one that you have ordained, the one who is winning souls for your kingdom. Because this end time, there are so many called prophets, but they work for the devil. But the one that you have called, which is Prophet Kenew, may you bless him and his family so that he will do the work and win souls for you. May you bless him. And also the listeners that listen to him on daily basis, they come to the Pillar of Christ platform and listen. May your name be praised, everlasting God. Take all your glory and honor unto thee, O Lord. All your ways are settled in heaven. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. Amen.